I wanna be a comedian so freaking bad. Do you realize that there are no love songs that cater to polygamists? Right? Like polygamists have to sing the songs that we sing. You know, for example, one of my favorite songs, Brian McKnight, I don't know if you guys know it. One, you're like a dream come true. Two, just wanna be with you. It's intense, it's exclusive. Polygamists can't sing our songs. They can, but they have to leave words out. You know what I mean? So it would be like, one, you're like a dream come true. Two. But I still remember the first time that I fell in love. First time. I was in grade three. <laughs> okay? She was, the, she was the smartest girl in my Afrikaans class. Smartest girl. She was always up in front giving the answers. She knew all the big words. Like, uh, volgende. Natuurlijk. Trappen van vergelijken, you know what I mean? And, uh, and she was pretty, she was, she was awesome. Her real name was Susan, but she preferred that we call her by a cute little pet name, Mefro. <laughs> I know, Lawrence, what? I know. And I knew she loved me, I knew she liked me at least, because every single time I'd walk into the classroom, she'd be like, yay, sit where I can see you. Oh, yeah. That's love, ladies and gentlemen. Even, even political parties need to find new ways to gain votes. You know what I mean? New strategies. For example, if I was the DA, I'd change my name to CNA. That way I'd get dyslexic voters to put an X right next to my name. Outside of the box.